extremely exciting news here. The great drone pilot Connor is in the air. Take a look at this. Now this is extremely exciting, of course we haven't had a drone up for some time since the days of Andrew Francis, the great drone pilot himself. He since retired, uh, went to join a guru I believe. Let's hope Connor doesn't go the same way just yet. He's flying above quarantine clearings there. Now what I think you can see from a beautiful view like this, this is quite a lot more sophisticated than our own, own drone, our other drone. This one will be able to probably give us a lot closer look at the ground but what you can see here I suspect is how sparse the grass is you'll be able to see that although you've just been watching us here on foot and things look quite thick from the air things look a lot more sparse the trees look like they're a lot further apart from each other you can see a lot of bare ground between the tufts of grass so you can see that even though our drought has in theory broken the ground is not exactly covered in a great verdant flush. And the other thing I always notice from the air is how much browner it looks from the top than it does from the side. And I think that's probably got a huge amount to do with um, A, the drought, and B, of course, the bare ground that's in between there. And I'm sure, even though it's, I mean, we would never have been able to fly the, own, the old drone in this kind of wind, but this new sophisticated thing with, of course, our recently licensed pilot, Connor, Teagues is, well, coping very well, it would seem. So that's a great big, gorgeous overhead view of quarantine clearings, where no doubt there are mongoose about to have their tea. They've dropped their scones. They're coming out onto uh, the top of their little mounds, and they're looking at the drone. Wasn't that special? I think that's marvellous. Now, we'll be using that quite a lot, of course, going into our television shows. And, uh, well, I just think it's so exciting to have a camera back in the air. And uh, just to remind you, of course, we will be doing an eight-week series from the 1st of January, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you can work out what time that is, wherever you are in the United States. That's on Nacho Wild. For the Internet audience, fear not, things will remain the same. Let's have one last look at the mongoose at the very top right hand side there.